Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to multiply two whole numbers to find the product. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given two examples here. We want to multiply 47 times 10 and 47 times 100. Now, there's a quick trick for this, but I'm going to use our traditional method to show how we can do this, well, quickly in the future. So I'm taking my 47 first, and underneath it, I'll write 10. Let's go multiply that out. Well, normally, we just do 0 times each number here. 0 times 7 is a 0, and 0 times a 4 is a 0 as well. Nothing really to do there. We then start with the 1s in the 10s place here. I put a 0 place value, because now we're in the 10s place, and follow the same process. 1 times 7 is a 7. 1 times 4 is a 4. Add these two numbers up. 0 plus 0 is a 0. 0 plus 7 is a 7. And 4 by itself is a 4. So 47 times 10 is 470. Let's do it again with 47 times 100. So I have 47 here. I'm going to put 100 underneath it. And we're going to multiply this out. Same process. 0 times 7 is a 0. And 0 times 4 is a 0. Place value here because now we're in the tens place, we're going to deal with the, this zero. Zero times seven, again, is a zero. Zero times four, again, is a zero. We're going to move to the hundreds place, which is a one. So we have two place value zeros here. One times seven is a seven, and one times four is a four, if I can write that out. Now we add them up. Zero plus zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus seven, 7, and 4 by itself is a 4. And so, well, 47 times 100 is 4,700. Hopefully you've noticed a little pattern here. When you multiply by 10 to a number, you just add a 0. 47, you add a 0 at the end, you get 470. If it has two zeros, aka 100 here, 100 times 47, well, it's 4,700. 47 with two zeros right there. So that's a good technique in the future, as you see tens and hundreds, thousands, millions, when it's just ending in zeros, you just add that many zeros to the end of the number, and you have the new multiplication value here. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to multiply two whole numbers to find the product. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.